Hi everybody, Jacob here. Welcome back to my channel. I have to talk to you about gray gardens. Gray gardens. Ah, another one of those, you know, videos that that morphed and modified and completely changed the way that I see both fashion style, design, movies, film, documentary genre, whatever you want it. Check Grey Gardens out. I mean, the first Grey Gardens, and I mean first Grey Gardens, there is only one Grey Gardens, but I'll get into this little baby here just in a second. First Grey Gardens was shot in, well, was edited or came out in 1976. And it is kind of, by many, considered the first reality, well, not TV, but movie. So the Kardashians kind of ain't got nothing on these little ladies here. Um, and the Maisley brothers... Uh, the Maisleys were the ones, David and Albert, they were the ones that, that made this magic happen. There's been controversy after the, the, the documentary was shot because a lot of people said that they kind of used these two ladies. But at the same time, um, little Edie wrote uh, kind of a letter to, to claim the fact that indeed they were not used. They loved doing this revolutionary new type of cinematographic endeavor. Um, that's little Edie. And that's little Edie when she was a model, a young model. It's basically a story of uh, two ladies that live in the Hamptons in kind of an abandoned house. They're the Bouvier family, so they are related to uh, Jacqueline, uh, Jackie Kennedy. That's little Edie and her mom, Big Edie, <laughs> or Edie and little Edie. Big Edie and little Edie. And how did they call him? The Marble Fawn. <laughs> oh. I, I don't know. I'm just so moved by this movie. It's so incredible. Um, just like Twin Peaks, I love Grey Gardens and I watch it at least once or twice a year. What is very interesting, it kind of had a comeback. HBO made a movie with um, Drew Barrymore uh, starring Little Edie. They made like the Grey Gardens documentary not the documentary all over again but the film i think even somebody acted out jackie kennedy coming to the house giving them the money to repair it i mean there's been a lot of stress in this family they kind of were living in this rundown house in the hamptons um where they you know the state tried to evict them or the people their neighbors did because these ladies lived in kind of not poor conditions i mean you know they got food delivered to the house they would almost never leave the house they had raccoons living in the house biting through chewing through electrical cords, um, bushes growing everywhere. They just let everything kind of decay. It's like this beautiful bohemian vision of decay, of, of, of aristocracy as well. And so they lived with, with thousands of cats that peed and pooped all over the place. I know this doesn't sound very magical and majestical now, but guess what? Little Edie was so strong and powerful in her sense of how she expresses herself and with the clothes she would wear, with, with the kind of the costumes, she would call them costumes of, of, for the day uh, because of the movie that they were shooting, uh, that that she inspired generations and generations of upcoming movie makers and designers out there. Even Alexander McQueen was inspired uh, by little Edie's sense of taste and style for his own collection. So you could imagine how deep-rooted and how far uh, the influence of Grey Gardens and the ladies that are protagonists of, of Grey Gardens goes into social, uh, in, in, into culture nowadays. Still to today, they influence us. Both the ladies have uh, passed away, unfortunately. This is little Edie again, her youth, beautiful lady. This is one side of the house, Grey Gardens, in the Hamptons. Um, what can I tell you? Please give this movie a chance, you know, look at it, watch it. This is a great addition, by the way. Uh, Eureka, the Masters of Cinema series, because you get this beautiful booklet with the DVD, and you get a DVD disc. There's also special features, new restored transfer license from the Maisley Films, optional English subtitles for the deaf and hard of hearing, original theatrical and TV trailers, Albert Maisley on Grey Gardens, an exclusive new interview filmed in 2006. Jerry's Cab. Jerry is the marble fawn, by the way. That's Jerry. Um, because he's a cab driver now in New York. So you actually, you know, Jerry is a, a, car, a cab driver in New York. I mean, he was when they shot this in 2006. I don't know what he's doing right now. Past and Present, Albert and the Marble Fawn, Revisit Grey Gardens in 2005. 
Optimum image quality, RSDL DVD 9, 40 page booklet containing rare vintage photography and an expanded essay by Jonathan B. Fogels. Now, what is really interesting as the HBO movie was announced and what have you and whatnot, the Maisley brothers decided to re edit some of more found footage or footage that they had that they did not utilize for the original Grey Gardens feature documentary, feature film, whatever you want to call it. So in 2006, 91 minutes color uh, edition version of The Beals of Great Gardens, a film by Albert Maisley, David Maisley, and Ian Markiewicz, came out. So in 2006, we get like Great Gardens Part 2. This is a great insight into, well, not just the footage that they didn't utilize because it wasn't good enough uh, for the original Great Gardens uh, documentary, but it really sheds more of a light into how the ladies interacted with each other and also more interaction with the two brothers that were filming them. Let's just read the text here. The 1976 Cinema Verite classic Grey Gardens, which captured in remarkable close-up the lives of the eccentric East Hampton recluses Big and Little Edie Beale has inspired everything from a midnight movie cult following to a Broadway musical to a Hollywood adaptation. The filmmakers then went back to their vaults of footage to create part two, The Beals of Grey Gardens, a tribute both to these indomitable women and to the original landmark documentaries, legions of fans who have made them American counterculture icons. Director approved special edition features new digital transfer approved by director Albert, new video introduction by Albert Maisley, optional English subtitles for the deaf and hard of hearing, plus a new essay by Village Voice columnist Michael Musto. And also, you know, in my craze for, for Grey Gardens and for everything Grey Gardens related, have also um, bought several books. One of them is amazing, uh, made by um, David or I don't know who... By, I think by Albert, Albert's daughter. Hmm, can't remember which one of the two brothers' daughter made a book on Grey Gardens with all the photos and footage that was found. And what is a great, great, great addition to this book is you get a CD in the book. And the CD are audio recordings of the Maisley brothers inside of the Grey Gardens house of Little Edie and Big Edie. That is a masterpiece and a treasure on its own. So get the book if you can as well, the Grey Gardens book by um, the Maisley, one of them, which one? I don't know now, I would have to go and find the book again. Um, ha, huh. either Albert or David. <laughs> Albert's or David's daughter, I think, made the, made the book. And little Edie um, passed away in 2012 or 2002. So she kind of made her dream come true, you know, she wanted to leave Ray Gardens, go back to the city, go back to New York, and, uh, get a life and do acting, entertainment. And, and she did for a while. I think she, she tried also to do stand-up comedy or she did some one-man one show. It's a very fascinating and interesting life. And this short snippet that the Maisley Brothers opened to us within this documentary, even though it's a short snippet and they were there for just a short period of time, it opens up worlds and worlds and worlds. And those worlds are fascinating, interesting, and they make you want to see more. And we feel so close to little Edie and also big Edie. We feel like we're a part of the family. And they make us feel like we should not be ashamed of who we are. So check Grey Gardens out. Do me a favor. Thank you so much, guys. Uh, love you. Share this video. If you liked it, give me a thumbs up. Leave me comments in the comment section below. If you have seen Grey Gardens or the Beals of Grey Gardens, let me know what you think about it. And uh, see you soon. Love you. Take care. Bye. Hey guys, I hope you enjoyed my video and if you haven't already, don't forget to subscribe to my channel and check out some of my other videos. I'm also on Twitter, Facebook and Instagram. So come on over guys and join the fun!